Now to the plate, oh, Matt Antonelli. You can put it on the board. Yes, we've made it. We have made it. We are in the big leagues, the big time, baby, the big show, the big, I don't know what else we can call it, but I've got my jersey right here. Look at this right here. Look at this. Waiting in my locker for me. There it is. You know what? I'm going to put it on right now. If we're going to play, we're going to play. Okay? This is real stuff. This ain't fake life like video game. People think video game match not real. Pfft. Give me a break. Give me a second here. Put this thing on. Take my hat off. <sighs> wow, that looks good. We're opening up against the Boston Red Sox. What do you know, my hometown team? Unbelievable. Who am I facing today? <sighs> Let's go. All right. Who's on the mound for them? Ho, ho. That's right. I've come to save the day, boys. That's right, double play, Jose. Yep. I am the greatest player you've ever seen. I know. Well, I can't give you my autograph now. I'll give it to you later after the game. Saturday Night Baseball, Saturday night baseball right making my debut. The Windy City. Tonight, it's the third of this four-game weekend series between the Boston Red Sox and the Chicago Let's go, Red fellas. There he is, making his Major League debut. God, that's a specimen. One of the elite prospects in the game. That's right. Yeah, this is a special day for the entire sport when you really think about it. Mm. Certainly special for the kid in this organization. But I'll tell you, when a prospect of his caliber graduates to the big league level, the baseball world stops and takes notice. They do. It's just one game. We're going to put a lot of focus on his performance here today. And probably really doesn't mean that much. It does. It would be awesome to see him come out and put on a show for us. I will. I'm nervous, guys. <laughs> I'm really nervous right now. Kyle Freeland, the native of Colorado, gets the start on the mound. What's your take on him, Dan? Well, he's got an ADRA, so he stinks this year. Here we go. Bloated right now. This guy's a better pitcher, than that, but he hasn't been real consistent. One good game, one bad game. I think what he needs to do. Who he's facing? Tommy Wilson. Four good quality games in a row. That ERA will start creeping. Okay. Down. He definitely needs to start pitching. A little bit juiced up there, guys. I was ready for a fastball on the middle. Starting to change up. Good scout report. If he can turn it around in this one. Ah, right at Bogart. Okay. Hey, I'll take it. Hit it hard. Man, I hurt my finger. I hit the, I hit the button so hard I broke my, uh, split my finger in half. I've already found myself on the DL. Jan Gomes, hey. I was teammates with Jan Gomes. I don't think Renfro's stealing. We're all right. We'll hold him on anyway, though. Oh, here we go. Two. Give it to me. Oh, my God. Welcome to the big leagues, Matt. TK, take it easy on me, buddy. He's a wheeze. Next to stand in is Matt Antonelli. Here we go, two outs. We're down five, nothing. Jeez Louise. Hey, let's go Niner here, kid. Oh, wait, I'm number 10. Sorry. First offering. No! Come on, Matt. It's a big league. It's a big league, Matt. This ain't the minor leagues. You can't just swing at everything. I've got to lock it in, guys. I've really got to lock it in. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Ground ball right side. Reined in. Okay, now that the nerves just, you know, I finally calmed down. Guys, watch my channel. You know that. First ball that was hit to me. I'm nervous as all hell. First ground ball you get. Make that play. You feel so much better. The 1-2. 
Right at him. Yep. Sorry, Jan. Well, I haven't done anything yet to embarrass myself. If you guys want to see me embarrass myself in real life from a Major League debut, I don't know what the title of the video is called. Maybe like my Major League debut or like uh, Vince Scully says something about me. I don't know what the title is, but you can go watch it. But after two at bats, he should be able to slow himself down a little bit. I expect him to have a nice AB right here. Thanks, Mark. Always projected as a future major leaguer, actually getting to stand in for your first big league. Oh, baby, get out! You gotta think he's Come on! Give me my first hit! Yeah, Matty, Jeez. he's certainly happy to be here. If he can feel his legs, the nerves are definitely going right now. Well, I mean, I just hit a rocket up. shot. I've tried bloopers. I've tried... I hit a hard ground out of short, a blooper to right, a hard ground... A hard line drive to center, like... Man, oh, man, he's running! Oh, no! Nothing I could do on that one, though. Oh, shoot, guys. It's a full cone. Damn it! Oh. Nice approach by the batter right there. When you know your boy is moving, you start seeing stuff happening out of your peripheral vision. Wait for him to lock in. But guys, it's horrible play by me. I need a. I'm like, see, uh, I'm too caught up in the big league moment here. I'm like, look at, it. it's a full count, okay? It's full count. It's two outs. So this runner is running. Who is this Renfro? Yeah, we shouldn't even be holding him here. Like, we shouldn't even hold him. We should be playing behind. We know he's running. It's 3-2-2 two, two outs. He's automatically running. He has to run. And therefore, we know. So when this happens, the catcher comes out. I mean, everyone should know at this level. But the catcher needs to come out and say, hey, 3-2, two, fellas, two outs. We're going across here on a ground ball. So there's no point in me covering. I know he's running. It's three. He has to run. And I just screwed it up for us. That's just a mental mistake on my part. We also should not be holding at first, like I said, though. Why are we holding the guy? All right, two outs now. I'm going to play in the hole here for the pull for Devers. Yep, hit it right to me. There we go. All right, guys, I got to get my first big league hit here. Let's go. Let's go. Matt Andrees, huh? What's the scouting report on him? Ready now for the White Sox. Matt Antonelli. Are they booing me already? So far, he doesn't seem to have the idea on the major league pitching thing yet. But hey, shut up, Matt. With a hit here. How about, yeah, he just needs one how about my line three. shot? That was a just six, twelve to six breaker right there, though. That was a hammer and a half. You're playing for everybody else but yourself at this. Oh point. my just God! Just trying to grind to get a hit. No, I'm playing for myself, Matt. Or I mean, Mark. And the pitch. Can't get him to chase. My finger's it's killing me. I literally right split the, the thing open. In their lineup. Just the guy they want to see right, on, coming up now time. to get this inning going. Oh. That's a good pitch top of the zone right there. I mean, you got lucky to foul that off. He'll try again, one, two. Get through, second. get through. Field it cleanly. And that's the first down. I will say, guys, one of the biggest things that you'll notice, all right, we're playing infield in here. I'm trying to cut this run down. How do I throw home? X. Yep. Ah, that would have been a perfect throw, too. All right, guys, we're getting absolutely obliterated. Absolutely obliterated. Play the next game, please. So one thing about the big leagues, and you notice this as you move up in levels, but especially in the major leagues, the defense is so much better. Right? The, so, like, you can hit the ball really hard, and they can still make unbelievable plays. Now, I mean, I didn't, they didn't make any unbelievable plays right there. Second baseman made an okay play on me. Center field, the ball's hit right at him. But that's really one of the hard parts, too. Oh, baby, it's a day game. I love day games. I see the ball so much better in the day. Who am I facing? Chris Hill, great. Oh my god, that thing is a backward slider. Holy hell. But this is the hardest part of the big leagues, having to face stud pitchers every single day. Although Tommy Wilson, like, 
but Chris Sale, nasty. One lesson though, you gotta you gotta forget about who you're facing. You can't face the guy, you know, the name on the back of the jersey. That's what they used to tell us. Don't try to face the guy, the name on the back of the jersey. He's just a pitcher. He's just a left-handed pitcher. Okay. Also, you heard right there, somebody yell, steal, steal, steal. Nobody's going to yell that. Oh, Bailey Hamilton. No one's going to yell, steal, steal, steal. They're going to yell, runner. Okay? Don't ever yell, steal, 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 steal. No, no. It's going to be runner. Oh, my. <laughs> Guys, this is hard to hit. Oh, my God. Misses, ball two. I mean, holy funky delivery. The guy's stepping over here, throwing over here. He's got back foot slide. He's got 96 fastball. Nervous as all hell. He's going to throw me a fastball. He better not throw me a slider here. That's a good lead right there. He went 3-2 slider. They'd rather have the left-on-left -left matchup with Conforto. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. The homer in a silo. Hey, double play Jose. I, I just can't get away from double play Jose. Every year we're teammates. Hey, run that. You got to score. Matt, run. Run. I mean, I, I want to score on that. I'm pressing up. What? What? It, what are you doing? What? Okay, you want to give me a well, back in a line drive? I guess he was. I mean, he literally. We teach back in a line drive. How many outs are there? There's two outs, Matt. There's two outs, Matt. There's no back in a line drive, Matt. There's two outs. Okay? Go to the next base, please. I was pressing up, by the way. I'm stealing. Go. Now both runners on the move. Come on, this one's down to third. Throw to first in time and the big inning. In uh, what, 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 what are we doing here? We got first and second with one out. They're going to bunt. What are we doing? What? What? Who is in charge? What? Guys, who's in charge of this? First and second? We're not bunting with one out. I'm sorry. I don't care who's up. Unless it's the pitcher. The last time I checked, there's no... Well, now there's a universal DH everywhere, but... They need me on the staff, okay? Somebody put me on the staff for the next video. I mean, I know the next one comes out soon, but like, let's go. I'm not having anyone first and second one out in the big leagues bunting if it's not the pitcher. Oh, good jump, Matt. Matt's confused. All right, come on, dude. Do something. Oh, blew it past me. I mean, holy hell. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more... I blinked. I literally blinked when he released it. Bad idea. Not a good strategy. Damn it! He's getting that fastball in on me! My, my weakness in this game is really everywhere, but fastball in! What am I, 0 for 6? I'm going to get cut already. St. John's University standout, Joe Panic. On the ground to the right side. Ah, no range, Matt. That's it. They're going to cut me. They're releasing me. 
Now at the plate, here is Matt Antonelli. He flew out in his last A.B. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed. I almost went deep. He's feeling pretty good at the dish. Oh, that's in the gap. That's in the gap, finally. First big league hit, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Give me that ball. I'm going to stay right here. Right here, Matt. Right there, right there. Give me the baseball. Give me the baseball. That's right. That's right. Mark knows the rules of baseball. Yep, get that bat ball for me. There we go. Yep, put that in there. Send it to the Hall of Fame. There you go. Send it to the Hall of Fame right now. Let's take another look at it. Oh, baby, look at me stay on that ball right there. See? I like that ball, middle of way. That's my sweet spot in this game. Look at him. Here comes the Mack truck. Next will be the cleanup hitter. And I'm going to steal the base. Rounded out in his last at bat. Runner's on his way to third. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. For big league steal. Put that ball in the Hall of Fame. Actually takes his base and put it in the Hall of Fame. Questionable time to be trying to take third as that very easily could. I don't care. I'm trying to pad my stats, Matt. He is in there with one away. Now batting. I mean, if they're going to give it to me, I'm going to take it. All right, infield's back here. On the ground, we're going on. Except back to the pitcher. Tagging the air. Or just strike out. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. Runner in scoring position with two down. I can learn my teammates, guys. Let's let's figure that one out. And, uh, Maybe after this Kevin game. Two outs and two yeah, here in we got two outs here. Gonna give him a little bit of room. Hit out towards second. He's right there. And there the we go. See, three, two, two outs. Over. Both runners are stealing. No one's moving. We gotta let them know. Hey, going across there. Man, Sale's still in the game? Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to save it. I was gonna if he threw a strike. He's still throwing 97 in the eighth. He hit it right here as a pitcher. You really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Fastball just inside. And how about the uncommon patience for the rookie in a big spot right here? These have been some tough pitches to lay off. Oh, a little bit off. Did someone just say, come on, Matt? You're going to start telling me to start earning some of that money? Oh! Oh, no! Guys, I thought I, I literally thought I hammered that ball. I just missed it. But my timing was good. I thought I crushed that thing. Second, but this will be gloved out there at positioning. 10-3 at the end of this contest. The Boston Red Sox took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Go back to the clubhouse here. Where are we flying to? Congrats on your first major league hit, Matt. Tell us what was going through your head. Um, just doing my job out there. I was like, wow, I'm really here. Dreams do come true. This will be my first of many. It felt great. The ball is definitely going on the mantle. This will be the first of many. Is it a confidence builder knowing you're capable of holding your own against major league pitching? Definitely. I can hang here. I made that clear now. I'm not sure how much I've proved. I'm just going to keep where I already have confidence. You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Now they might call me into the office. Guys, play one more game. I wasn't going to play one more game, but... Um, why doesn't it say anything? Oh, there we go. Plus two. I'll take that. I'm actually playing later at night, guys, so I have no excuse right now. For, oh, wait. Who's on my team? Tim Anderson, Billy Hamilton... Me, Eloy, Hanniger, Grandal, Luis. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Danny Mendick, who's that? And who's Rio Ruiz? I don't know those guys. I, pro I probably should, but I don't. 
And can we clarify something? Luis Robert. Some people call him Luis Robert. Some people call him Luis Robert. I've been calling him Luis Robert. But then some people be like, it's not Robert, Matt. What is his name? How do we pronounce this? He's my teammate. I mean, I should know that. We got Jack Flaherty on our team too. We got Giolito. We got Flaherty. Like, holy hell, guys. What are we doing? Why aren't we winning? So next to the plate for the Royals, Nicky Lopez. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Why does my back hurt so much? I feel like I've... I mean, we're in the big leagues. We have chiropractors and we've got like massage tables. My body should never feel better now. Who am I facing? Brad Keller. I just realized, guys, they put me right in the three hole. How about that? You call me up and put me right in the three hole. I mean, put me in the Hall of Fame. But I'm hitting 143. <laughs> There we go. They're coming off a short Get the fireworks ready. A five and one stretch in their last six games playing confident baseball right now. Look for them to be on the attack. Oh, baby. I almost the killed the pitcher. Anderson read the man. Read the man in front. First RBI, guys. First RBI. Put that ball in the Hall of Fame, too. That was an absolute linea. Almost killed this man. Look at it. He's got a family to think about. They didn't really. It's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the Now I gave the finger to the other team, but not trying to do too much, able to quiet the moment down, center himself and come through in a big That's right. Hey Carlos, what's up? I play with Carlos Santana for about two and a half minutes. He has no idea who I am, but that's a base He'll come home with it. Oh good read, Matt! Yeah! Hey guys, he went for the punch out right. I mean, talk about my base running. The electricity that I'm bringing to this team is unbelievable. All right, on the ground, we're going anywhere. Tagging in the air. Where is it? On the ground, we're going. Wait, I don't think he probably didn't have to jump for like that. But look at me, I'm strutting. That's right, boys. Oh, Kyle Schwarber. I got it. Soft liner to the right Never side. mind. And this will get taken in at first for the second out of the inning. Bottom of the third now. And that will bring in. Oh, what a beautiful sunset. And this is up and in ball one. Hey, let's not sugarcoat it. Is that He's Gabe Kapler? Innings. He's going to have to find a way, whether it be mechanically or mentally, to be able to stay in this game. And I mean, I probably could have crushed that ball, but. I'm really zoning it in here, guys. Now that I'm in the big leagues, though, like I like the approach. Yep, it's a good pitch. I mean, what am I gonna do with that ball? Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling. Thought I squared that up. I get off the end of the bat. Stepping up is Matt Antonelli. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. No! Yeah, I see that's the sinker right there. You know, I need I need a better scouting report. It's a sinker. It's down. I got to see the sinker up. You know, I did exactly what he wanted me to do. Threw at the bottom of the zone. I topped that thing right to the third base. Been like strategy against the sinker. Got to see the ball up in the zone. You know, if it's low, let it go. If it's high, let it fly, baby. That's what you got to do. All right, big knock right here. Big knock. Let's go. All right, we got the sinker baller again, Matt. You got to see the ball up. I know you like it down, but you got to see it up a little bit. Good. See? There. Dude's clearly capable of clearing the bases with one swing. So I think the approach to this guy is trying to keep the ball off the plate. See if they can get him to chase something. Good. And he won't bite at that point it's up, either. but it's out. All right, now make him bring that little sinker up, or maybe he throws a four seam here. I would throw a sinker, see if he can just get me to get a little like, over aggressive. But this guy has a pretty good eye. And he'll try to check his swing here, but he'll have no such luck. Yeah. Strike one. Doesn't matter. It was a strike anyway. It's a great pitch. It's a great tool pitch. Tip your cap. Go to the next pitch. 
damn it! Yeah! Yeah! Alright! Rather be lucky than good. Two RBIs? Dan, from a pitcher standpoint, that's a backbreaker. Two out, two RBI base. Think about that hit, though, right there, guys. Like, you know, you know, sometimes I get mad. I shouldn't get mad, but sometimes I get mad when people are like, oh, look at your average in the major leagues. Like, I didn't get that many at bats, okay? And, like, one hit here and there can sway your average a ton. Like, I just hit an absolute duck fart, and instead of being, what am I now, three for 11? I could have been two for 11. Now I'm three for 11. So if I was two for 11, I would have been hitting what, like one something. But now that I'm three for 11 and I'm hitting what, two, like high 200s? Like one hit just swayed my batting average 100 points. Is out of here? Nope. Morning track power. Hit the weights and eat a steak, buddy. So now into the box is Kyle Isbell starting things for his side in the night. back is still killing me. Improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count. At least for their own staff. Got him. Oh, he gave the safe call. Oh, he Throw him out of here. Hey, here we go, fellas. Wow, that guy needs a replacement surgery. Good game, guys. Eight nothing. That's what this team's capable of doing, guys. We're going to World Series. I like to turn the cup off. Hey, what a feeling making my major league debut! Unbelievable. I mean, I, this felt almost as good as the real thing. Let's see if anyone wants to interview me after this game. No, nobody. And I still don't have any friends. They're all looking at me. What are you looking at, guys? Matt's still locked out of his phone. Even in the big leagues, guy can't get a phone. That it can, can, can somebody help me with my damn phone? If you've got hitters that you're looking to improve before the start of next season, this is essential for you. Matt Antonelli here, former major league player, first round pick, and college coach. With this course, we're going to show you exactly, step by step, how to generate power, develop bat speed, and enhance swing mechanics. Regardless of your hitter's age, this course is going to deliver advanced hitting techniques that will allow any hitter to get better and make an impact at the plate this spring. We have a full catalog of training content that you can access from anywhere at any time. This course is perfect for players, parents, coaches, instructors, and more. It offers a comprehensive package of drills and techniques that you can directly implement. Our course has helped hitters all over the country at different competition levels, and the feedback that we've received has been outstanding. The work you put in now will drive your success at the plate this spring. Get the essential knowledge that you need to take your game to the next level.